tasters. When you're about to taste a glass of wine, don't. Instead, slow down and consciously engage your senses. Wine tasting starts with your sense of style. <laughs> your sense of style. <laughs> wine tasting starts with your sense of sight. Slightly tilt your wine glass against the white background. A napkin is fine. Observe the color and ask yourself some questions. First things first, is the wine in your glass red, white or rosé? Now look more closely at the appearance of your wine. What shade of red, white or rosé would you say you're looking at? Remember, wine tasting is subjective and it's okay to disagree with others. Red wines can take on a range of red hues that may remind you of ruby or garnet stones, pomegranates or berries, sometimes even red brick. White wines can look almost as clear as water or a faint green or yellow. Richer hues such as gold and amber are also possible. Rosé wines can look like a range of pinks, anything from pale pink or sugar pink even hot neon. Sometimes the color is close to salmon, other times it's almost a copper tinted pink. So what does it look like to you? And now consider how deep is the color of wine? Is it pale, medium or dark? Deeper shades can be almost opaque, while lighter shades can be almost translucent. Here's a quick tip. Can you read the text on your smartphone screen through the wine? If not, then you definitely have an opaque, rich wine. So, what does the color of wine mean? All these observations about wine color provide little clues that can help you piece together some information about the wine you're about to taste. Here are some broad guidelines to get you started. The darker the color of wine, the longer the juice was left in contact with the grape skins. Because only the juice is fermented to produce white wines, most white wines are practically transparent. White wine has minimal contact with grape skins. For example, Sauvignon Blanc. Expect it to taste light, crisp and refreshing. Orange wines, in contrast, are rather unconventional white wines. The skins are actually left on during fermentation. This produces white wines that are unusually tannic and spicy. Although made with white grapes, they acquire a deep orange hue. If the wine you're looking at is a deeper yellow, then it's likely that this wine has been aged in oak barrels the taste will be richer and more mellow. For example, an oak chardonnay. For red wine, the same rule applies. The lighter the color, the lighter the wine. Either there was less contact between the juice and the grape skins, or the grape variety has thin skins, such as Pinot Noir. The richer the red color, the richer the taste you should expect. A very dark red wine, such as a Bordeaux blend, has been aged in oak barrels. Dark wines tend to be very tannic. However, if you're lucky enough to taste an aged wine, and by aged I mean more than 10 years, then you should bear in mind that wine color changes as wine ages. White wines get slightly darker as they mature, becoming more amber, almost brown. This is not unlike the process that causes a green apple to turn brown as it oxidizes. Red wines, however, lose color as they age, becoming more brick or orange looking. As the wine softens, it becomes less tannic and the color breaks down. That's why older bottles of wine always have gritty sediment at the bottom. It's the lost color. And there you have it, tasters. Take the time to observe the wine in your glass and it will reveal all its secrets to you. Let me know your thoughts on wine color in a comment below. Thanks for liking this video and thanks for subscribing. Cheers, I'll see you on the next video.